Hey guys and ladies, in this video, I'm finally doing a video that most of you guys requested that I do, and that's a video on how to build a solar panel with an aluminum frame. Now in this video, I'm mostly just providing information and resources on how to go about building a solar panel with an aluminum frame, and later on in the video, I'm going to explain why I'm not exactly building a solar panel from scratch completely. And let me just go ahead and say in advance, I am kind of sorry about the background noise if you ever catch some ambulance or something going down the street. But I think if you're doing a solar video, it should be done outside. But in a way, when I was going about building a solar panel with aluminum frame, uh, my goal was to achieve one that looks similar to this. Now, I know I couldn't really just get one exactly like this because the guys who built this, of course, had professional equipment to do it. So... I was still trying to get one that looked somewhat similar. It was like really my goal to like come up with something very similar to this. So what I did was I, I went on forums, of course, asked the people uh, how to go about building this. I went on Google, again, trying to uh, find out information and pictures and articles on how to build a solar panel with an aluminum frame. And it was so hard, again, to find that information on how to do it. So I was on the verge of just giving up completely, guys, because it was just so hard to find information. And really, uh, I could have engineered it myself, but again, I don't have that experience yet with dealing with metal and dealing with welding and stuff like that. So I was really kind of kind of stuck with it. So I, I really was kind of holding off from it until I actually learned a little bit more about how to deal with metal and stuff like that. Because everything else, I already I already have the knowledge on how to deal with, like you know, building the solar cells. Uh, soldering them together and everything using the type of glass so the rest of it is pretty easy once I get the frame out of the way so I was I kept looking I was looking on eBay couldn't find the frame uh, I did find some frames that were in China but that was fairly large and really I didn't know how to put them together it didn't really come with any instructions it's kind of like you should already know that so again I was kind of on the verge of just giving up but a YouTuber actually contacted me, uh, Value Sun, I believe the name is. I'll put, a, put the link in the description. They also have some interesting videos, so I definitely recommend checking them out. But they had contacted me and showed me a video of a guy named Mark who was providing information and inf I mean information in the process on how to build a solar panel with the aluminum frame. And the great thing about what Mark was doing is he actually makes the frames. So it's kind of like I wish I had seen this video before I even started, you know, building my first solar panel because this process that he uh, used was so easy and so simple. And in a way, I'm uh, really I'm just really dedicating this video mostly to uh, Mark because he, he provides the solar frame, which you're going to need, and he just provides the information and a great easy guide about how to uh, build one so really if you just use some of my videos for some of the the minor details and you look at his video you should have everything that you need so it's really just two resources here that you need but in a way i contacted mark after looking at his videos i was telling him what i wanted to do telling him that i wanted to create a video showing you guys how to build one from scratch and i needed a small prototype because i wanted to start small before i went large uh, mostly because of price reasons so he he, he was nice enough to uh, just uh, downsize it to the size that I needed and he just charged me like $20 for it which was a great price but I believe for one like the size of the first solar panel that I made that had like 36 evergreen solar cells he sells those frames for about $30 or 30 to $40 I can't really remember but it's fairly cheap for the frame as well so that was great if you do, if you like me don't really have that welding experience and and experience with dealing with metal so after getting my frame uh, I really haven't did the research as far as the price for the materials I knew what I needed but I didn't know the price of the materials so uh, once I found that out I was kind of like oh, I don't know if I want to do this anymore I had the frame but I didn't really know if I wanted to buy the rest of the materials because of the price for a professionally made solar panel so let me just go ahead and point out some of the prices and the materials that you need to build the solar panel and then just explain why I didn't really want to go that route after finding out the information. So first you need the frame and I got that for like $20. I'm just going to use my example for my, my solar panel that I use. So I just needed the, the frame which cost me $20. Then the solar cells, 
I wanted to build one that could actually charge a car battery, so I needed 18 volts, so I needed 36 solar cells. But of course, the size of my, my frame that I was using was fairly small, so I was gonna have to use uh, small solar cells. So eBay didn't really have them. They mostly just uh, supply these evergreen solar cells, so those was too big, so I had to find another source. So again, I was back in that research and uh, step. So I eventually found a resource that provided the small solar cells, and they was selling those for 36 for about $54. So that's like 20 tack on 54 And then the key element or the key solution that you need uh, that I found from looking at Mark's video is the slide guard, which is uh, some great materials, but it's very expensive. And that's really what kind of made me like think that I really don't want to do this anymore. I really don't want to waste that much money uh, building one when I can buy a professional made one for uh, a lot less. And the reason why I say that is because I'm not probably going to be building more solar panels from scratch. I really uh, about them I already made. And the main reason I tried to learn about solar energy is so I could have that experience and that knowledge about how, how it all worked. And if I ever wanted to provi provide solar energy to some type of device or object I may be building, I knew how to do that. So that's my main reason for like learning how to do this. But if, I, if I'm trying to like power other things with solar uh, energy, I probably just... Uh, about one I already made. It is fun, but it does take a lot of patience if you do do it yourself. But anyway, um, again, the slide guard that's on average that costs about fifty dollars, and that's what, again that's what really kind of just turned me away from this whole thing because I'm already paying fifty four dollars for the solar cells, and then I have to pay for the slide guard, which on average costs fifty dollars, and you couldn't buy it, or I couldn't find it in smaller quantities uh, for a lot less. So. After that, I was still looking at, you know, I was still possibly may build it, even though I may be wasting it, because I did want to show you guys how to build it, since so many of you guys requested this video, but I still needed that, so I kept looking, and I wanted to have some type of back sheeting for it, so I was looking at Ted Law, which I could get off eBay for about $10 for the size of my solar cell, I mean my solar panel, and I wanted to have a junction box, and that was going to cost on average probably like 10 to $15 for my size on my solar panel again you don't have to use one but again my goal was to try to come up with something similar to this solar panel and what else I needed was some silicon that was gonna cost probably on average three dollars and of course I might need some copper wire or something like that and you need a blocking diode and you know if you don't even have the bus wire and, and tapping wire you're gonna need that as well but I already had some of this stuff on hand and oh what I forgot is I need the actual glass for it and that was another problem that I ran into was in my area, solar solar energy isn't really that popular. I mean, we do have solar panels. If you go down the interstate, you will see some lights or something powered by solar energy. But it's not really that many glass shops around here that sell the type of glass that I was looking for, which is the transparent um, low iron type glass. I didn't really want to use that plexiglass again in this one. I really wanted to kind of give it again that professional look but I was kind of like uh, I might just go ahead and do the plexiglass even though I didn't want to and I actually contacted Mark to see if he could actually uh, provide the glass uh, but it was kind of expensive on his end as well so again that was something else that kind of made me just not really want to do it but again that's something to look into but then again you need the transparent and some glass with low iron in it so looking at that all of that came up to a total of close to like forty dollars, one hundred and forty dollars. I'm sorry, one hundred and forty dollars to one hundred and fifty dollars. Now, to show you this again, this panel here, professionally made, costs. Just guess how much this probably costs. This one here costs only forty dollars on eBay. So I'm comparing this one with one that I have to build myself, and that's a huge difference. And that's really uh, the main reason I didn't want to go about building one after a while. I mean, it's like a hundred dollars I have to pay extra just to build it myself. But again, I really, I really did want to just show you guys how to build one from scratch. Uh, since so many people really like my first video, I really did want to do this, but I just figured it will be really uh, useful for you guys to know why I didn't want to build it. So you have two sides if you really want to go to go this route or not. But in a way, what I do want to show you how to do is how to actually assemble Mark's uh, frame that he actually uh, provided for me.